today I'm joined with Dr. Andy Gill, uh, who's the chairman and distinguished professor of the Catherine and Joseph Oresti Department of Urology, and also the founding director of the USC Institute of Urology and associate dean for clinical innovation. Dr. Gill is internationally renowned for his efforts to advance urologic diagnostics and treatment through pioneering technology and machine learning. And it's just really a pleasure to have you today. Dr. Gill, what gets you up every day to do what you do? Um, what, what drives you? What's the fuel that, that really motivates you? To take care of patients, to take care of people uh, who come to us in their hour of need, uh, who are scared and are, are hurting and to be able to come in, uh, give confidence, give assurance, um, and then be able to take care of the uh, hurt that they're having. So what gets me out of bed is um, taking the very best care of patients that I can in the most empathic way possible, such that they feel that not only am I with a medical professional, but I am with somebody who really cares about me, and really uh, uh, has my best interest at heart. You know, you recently founded the Center for AI, yes. Artificial Intelligence, yes. within the USC Urology Department. And can you tell us more about the work you're doing uh, with our, our electronic medical records? Yes, yes. So, so, Ron, I'm really excited about AI. I am particularly excited about how AI can be used to improve the patient experience as also the physician burnout. Physician burnout is rampant uh, with the electronic medical records, etc. It is really uh, a downer for physicians to be doing repetitive scribe-like work that we didn't go to med school for. We went to med school to take care of folks, right. as opposed to typing away on the EMR. And from my perspective, I too want the physicians to be not doing mundane work that is just, a, you know, does not get the ball moving forward. You know, the, the field of urologic surgery has come a long way from open to minimally invasive, robotic-assisted techniques. Where do you see the next frontier going? Yes. Currently, what robotics has done has changed. The only thing that's changed is how we do it, right. right? We used to do it with the big cut. Now we do it through the cut. So how we do it has been changed. That's it. What we do has not been changed. So I want us to now progress from how we changing how we do it to changing what we do, which means uh, marrying together uh, robotics as we currently know it, rigid robotics, flexible robotics, where now we're getting ready to marry flexible robotics that go in through a natural orifice, mm -hmm. through the mouth, through the you know, other natural orifices to get inside the uh, patient and then use rigid robotics, if needed, uh, to then marry the two together to be able to actually do stuff that currently we cannot imagine. Indy, you're doing some interesting work with the bladder in yes. your research work. Can you tell us a little bit about what you're doing? You know, in addition to robotic surgery, one of the things that I've been trained in and have done a reasonable amount is transplantation. But believe it or not, the bladder has never been transplanted. And so that's what we've been working on for the past year and a half or so. We've worked uh, in some of the um, other uh, non-living uh, uh, scenarios. We have most importantly gotten approval from the United Network for Organ Sharing, UNOS. Our team, the USC team, is the first in the country, the only one currently, that has been uh, given um, a per formal permission, formal approval to explore bladder transplantation. Mm. And so I'm delighted. And so that's given us a lot of confidence, and we anticipate that in the next six months or so, uh, we will continue to build on this and hopefully do the first in, first in human. Amazing work. Yeah. An amazing individual, Andy. I, I thank you for taking time to share all that you do, um, and I know you only scratch the surface with all you do. Your international work, uh, your other work, and we are so lucky to have you here at Keck Medicine. Yeah. And I, I am um, grateful to have you as a friend as well as yes. such a great uh, clinician, faculty, researcher. Um, Thank you. Anyway. Thank you very much, and I'll say the right, same right back to you, Rod. Well, yeah. Thank you, Andy. Thank you so much. You got it. Thank you.